everybody wants to get top dollar for their house, but you don't get it by pricing your house sky high. You get it by pricing it appropriately and by limiting the amount of time that you're on the market. Hi, my name is Derek Jackson with the Jackson Group. And on today's video, we're going to be talking about how to sell your house for top dollar and how to properly position your house. A common question I get is what price should I put on my home? And the common thought is that a lot of people actually want to price their house way high because they know that buyers are gonna negotiate them down and they think that pricing it high will get them more money. The reality is, is that sort of strategy actually costs you money. So let's start off by talking about positioning. Positioning is how we place your house to put it in front of the right ideal buyers for your home. Okay, so taking time to think about who the ideal buyer is, is critically important to positioning. If the home that you're selling is catered more towards an investor, I need to be talking about cap rates, cash on cash returns, explaining what issues are wrong with the house and how much it costs to fix it. Or if the house that's being sold caters more towards a, a family that's going to live in the house, I'm gonna be talking about school districts, um, maybe amenities around in the neighborhood, shopping, things of that nature. Knowing who that ideal end buyer is, is critically important. One of the most important parts of positioning is pricing. The reality of the situation is, is we have to be aggressive on price in the beginning because the longer your home sits in the market, the more chances that we're gonna get less showings and the more chance that people are just going to assume there's something wrong with your house. If you're a buyer and you're looking to submit an offer on a home, are you more likely to submit a lowball on a house that has two days in market time or 200 days in market time? Obviously the one that has 200 days is the one that you're gonna submit the lowball on. See, the first two weeks on the market is when your property is gonna have the most buzz and this is when you have the best chance of getting the offer you're seeking and getting it at the price in terms that makes sense for you. Another important part of pricing is understanding the importance of very small details. For example, most buyers look online in $25,000 and $50,000 increments. So if I'm listing my house at say 304 or 305, I'm missing out on all the buyers that cap their search at 300 even. Now the final piece of positioning is the marketing. This is where I come into play and this is where I take a look at who the ideal end buyer is for your house and then ensure that your home is advertised in the places where these sorts of buyers actually are looking. For example, if you're trying to sell your house in as is condition, the sorts of buyers that are looking for those sorts of homes look in certain specific areas and I make sure that your home is marketed in only those specific areas. If you're actually looking to sell a home that's in pristine, perfect condition, and you're looking to get absolute maximum top dollar for your house, that's a different buyer that's looking in a number of different areas, but it's different than those as is locations. I make sure it stays away from those locations and only appears in front of the buyers that would be willing to purchase your home. So an aggressive agent is going to actively pursue and chase after the right buyer for your home versus just putting a sign in the yard, and just sitting back, kicking their feet up, waiting for the phone to ring. I hope this video helps shed some light on how to position your home appropriately and how to position it properly. If you have any questions, feel free to click somewhere around this video or give me a call or shoot me an email anytime. I'm here to answer questions. I love questions. Again, my name is Derek Jackson. I'm with the Jackson Group. Thanks and have a great day.